Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan-O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today. All right, all right, all right. Hey, welcome. Yeah, we're going to take a look at uh, the uh, new Hot Wheels 2021, the uh, Range Rover Classic. Uh, we're going to take a look at that, and we're going to compare it to uh, the old uh, Matchbox uh, Range Rover. All right, let's take a look at that. That's kind of a um, comparison of what uh, the new Range Rover Classic looks like brand new from Hot Wheels. Let's take a look at the back there. Yeah, the car for all reasons. I think it was the car for all seasons really is what uh, they originally uh, said, but uh, okay, okay. Well, anyway, let's get to it and uh, we're going to open this up so we can take a look at it. Uh, I've got quite a few of these now and so I'm just kind of feeling free to open these up and I wanted to do a comparison of uh, what kind of relative size uh, details from Hot Wheels, the new Hot Wheels, to the old Land Rover from Matchbox. Now this one is uh, the old uh, Rollomatic metal on metal. This is uh, the only way, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the only way that um, Hot uh, Matchbox ever did the uh, Range Rover Land Rover and uh, really kind of cool. Um, this is the number 20 police patrol. And now this one here, like I say, this one here is um, brand spanking new. So let's take a look here. Now there is, you can see a uh, bit of a size difference. Yeah, there is a bit of a size difference, but you can see that they still have, both of them have those veins up on the top of the roof, which are really kind of cool. They both have holes in the roof too. That's kind of funny. They had the old bubble uh, for the Rollomatic part uh, for Matchbox. And then Hot Wheels, I don't know what they're gonna do with that uh, hole if they're gonna put any kind of uh, uh, police or ambulance. Oh, cheese balls. I just went and dropped that. Here we are. <laughs> Luckily, I've got carpet on the floor nowadays. But anyway, um, so let's do uh, like a uh, track here. Of course, uh, Hot Wheels is going to have Hot Wheels, but it's not kind of the uh, same kind of wheelbase. They're pretty much the same kind of wheelbase. The Matchbox is a little bit longer, uh, but uh, yeah. Yeah, just kind of cool. Obviously, the Matchbox is a little bit bigger. We saw from the top view, but uh, from the back view, yeah, they just a little bit. It looks like uh, from the front door to the fender, uh, from the wheel well, front door to the wheel well is a little bit longer than uh, the uh, the uh, Hot Wheels one is. That's kind of where I think the length comes from. But nice... Um, Details on the back there, you know, that last pillar has got the signature uh, vent, which, you know, never really worked. Obviously, the uh, Matchbox had windows in that uh, last compartment where Hot Wheels has kind of made it a uh, uh, commercial type uh, vehicle. But, uh, and uh, this one was all enclosed and uh, opaque, uh, so they would kind of cover up the... Uh, the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, cover up the mechanicals inside that uh, matchbox there. But uh, obviously a bigger wheels, bigger wheel wells for the uh, Hot Wheels, you know, they're kind of more of a, um, yeah, they, I don't know, they, I don't think they plan on making a uh, strict civilian model out of this one, but uh, really kind of cool. Um, we are looking at, uh, I'm, I'm hoping for, there's, you can see kind of how long that uh, wheelbase is from the Matchbox to the Hot Wheels. I am hoping that uh, the Hot Wheels does do a premium metal base, metal body with real riders on this one. I don't know how they would uh, 
uh, you know, market that. I know with the Hot Wheels Defender 90, they did it with the uh, Fast and the Furious, which was awesome. But uh, so right now it's just a plastic base uh, and stuff like that. But still the same kind of uh, stuff, you know, a uh, little bit, I, I don't know. It would say that the, the Hot Wheels, you know, of course, this is like, oh man, over 20 years old probably at least 20 years old and uh, modern day uh, uh, CAD and uh, uh, production from making it from a real one to a toy uh, the process is a lot uh, easier with computers so they were able to cut a uh, pretty good um, depiction of you know like the the wiper there um, which that wiper is that correct or did it come from the bottom no, I think it came from the top because the tailgates, that was always a problem. Those aluminum tailgates always were rusting out on the Range Rover Classic. Yeah, that's a, uh, there's actually companies now that uh, go ahead and produce rear replacement tailgate uh, windows for them now because they were just such a, um, a troublesome thing. You know, uh, all the dirt and everything and salt would collect from the back of the vehicle. But uh, really kind of cool there, like I say, uh, 20 years plus uh, uh, re, re um, uh, doing them, you know, you really get more details. But the details are still there for Matchbox. I mean, they, they did their, their work and everything. Um, now, the Matchbox has more of a um, correct grill, you know, with the slats going vertical where Hot Wheels, uh, they didn't do their homework so well. Those should be vertical grill uh, slats, shouldn't they? Yeah, it should be. But uh, otherwise, you know, uh, they've got the turn signal still there. Now this and the Hot Wheels is uh, part of the base. You know, the plastic, uh, which is kind of ingenious, but you know, it, it's, it's still there. And uh, Hot Wheels also, it's two different parts those uh, running lights are part of the base and the grill is part of the interior. We uh, looked at that at, on one of our other videos where we, we took the, one of these apart and put real riders on it. So really kind of cool, they're, they're very, both of them are excellent uh, examples and uh, just, but you can tell, you know, that there is a difference in you know, production and being able to make um, more accurate scale. Uh, you know, this, uh, the old Matchbox doesn't have the mirrors on the side. Uh, Hot Wheels was able to uh, incorporate mirrors on both sides of the car. So that's, that's kind of nice. You know, a dab of uh, the monochrome pen and you can make that uh, look like a side mirror. And uh, really, really kind of cool there. You know, it's an open cab, open windows for the Hot Wheels, which is kind of cool. You know, um, going to kind of create some dust and stuff like that for you in there. But uh, wipers on the front windshield still. I love the uh, the old clam, clam um, hood. It's got the vent. They both have that vent. Uh, it seems like the... Hot Wheels and with the modern, more modern uh, die cast casting, they were able to put a little bit more details in that hood vent uh, up on the front there uh, by the windshield. It's, it's nice, it's accurate, but the Hot Wheels was able to get a little bit more uh, details, even though it is a smaller unit. Yeah, just it, it is a smaller unit. They are uh, just about, yeah, look at there. I mean, that, that's quite a bit of difference there, the, you know, in, in width and in length. Like I say, um, I, I don't know. When you, you, when you shrink them down this size, you know, it's hard to say. Is that more accurate that, that uh, from the front door to the fender, is that more accurate? Or is this uh, a little bit more accurate? Uh, and then we can't quite tell because the fender well is cut out. You know, it's not a regular uh, wheel arch because they have made this into like the Baja series from Hot Wheels. So 
really kind of cool. I just wanted to take a moment and then, and then too, the other thing I wanted to show you too is uh, the good old uh, Defender 90, which, you know, is not a Range Rover, but uh, just kind of the comparison of size. I just wanted to bring that one out. Uh, you know, the 164 scale, 160 scale, you know, so just kind of seeing how big that Hot Wheels is to the Matchbox and uh, really kind of cool. They, uh, you know, obviously this uh, Range Rover is a lot bigger, I would say a lot bigger than the, the Range Rover uh, or the Defender 90, which this Defender is a pretty big unit. Um, it would rival the size uh, in real life to the uh, to the Range Rover. So awesome. Well, there you go, guys. I Like I say, I just wanted to do a little video and kind of compare uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox, even though it's kind of kind of apples and oranges, but not really, you know, apples to apples, but uh, really kind of cool. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you for joining me for a little review of Matchbox Hot Wheels Range Rover Classic. I'm your friend Daniel. I'm out of here. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.